Hello, beautiful collective. This is Renee, and welcome back. If you're new, welcome. My beautiful collective, this is a very powerful month. And the month is just beginning, and these energies of this month are just so profound. I'm getting so much information so many downloads and so many channeled messages i've i've been really picking on the energy of this masculine is this your masculine this masculine is very frustrated and i feel like that is very common in the collective right now as far as the masculines i feel there's a lot of frustration and i feel like it's a frustration to the point of anger and jealousy and a feeling of not knowing which way to go um you may have a masculine who is afraid of missing on excitement um, they're afraid to miss out on any excitement of their life. They feel like this is opportunities that they're missing on that they'll never get back. And for a particular masculine, I feel like it's hitting them very hard because this masculine feels like I, I don't know why I'm getting in their last days. You have you have a masculine who is afraid that they'll miss out on something because they're afraid of dying. You have a masculine who's very fearful that they are going to die too soon that is very interesting energy i feel like your masculine has felt so much loss and they have had a shift in their mental you may have a masculine who's very depressed very lonely who is Constantly trying to find the excitement to fill some kind of void. But they know that excitement is with you. And they know it's easily obtained just by making the steps towards you. But they're so fearful of commitment, of being tied down, of feeling trapped. That it's making them go in a separate direction almost like an opposite direction to where they're choosing the wrong thing and i feel like they know that they have been choosing the wrong things in life for a very long time i'm i'm really feeling like this masculine regrets a lot of choices that they've made but they keep making the wrong choice they keep choosing the wrong door hmm. this masculine is afraid of taking a chance they're afraid of taking the risk they feel like almost like it's a game of cards like they're not they have not been dealt a hand that could possibly win in the game and this masculine has been sitting in the sidelines watching other people be happy and have relationships 
and have a beautiful life and that they feel like they're missing out but they don't want to take the right direction because they feel like in some way they'll ruin it in some way it never works out it never goes the way that they planned And I, I feel like this masculine has never really emotionally grew up. I feel like they're still caught in that stage where it's kind of acceptable to move from situation to situation, almost like being in high school or being very young and it being acceptable to kind of move through and experience more experiences right and I feel but I feel like this masculine is actively watching they're actively observing everything that you're doing and anytime someone comes into your energy this masculine feels an uncontrollable urge <laughs> to make themselves known. They have an uncontrollable urge of jealousy, almost like a stab in the heart, like you have done something wrong just by maybe having someone else in your energy. This is very, very interesting energy because I feel like this masculine gets very triggered anytime they see someone else in your energy because it, when they see someone else in your energy, it feels like a loss. It feels like a stab in the back to them. And I feel like this masculine is actually holding you accountable, even if the energy that's around you is innocent. Does that make sense? It's, it's a very strange energy. It's very... <laughs> very jealous that this masculine has a huge huge trigger when it comes to you they're very vulnerable but they are definitely watching even if they're watching from a distance they're looking at your social media they may be you know watching your moves on social media if you're posting with someone else and also this masculine can actually sense other people in your energy. They sense other people who are attracted to you. With this energy so strong, you are definitely going to get some sort of communication. You are definitely going to get some kind of maybe call, text. You may even get a pop-up you're going to get a surprise visit this masculine needs to talk to you they have this huge need to talk a pull that is pulling them into your energy pulling them back they're very very attracted to you they're very attracted to your energy and as powerful as this month is that attraction is just even more magnetic than usual it's like almost uncontrollable like they are standing on some sort of ramp with wheels and something is pushing them towards you and they don't have any control that's how this masculine feels they feel like they have no choice they're just going to arrive in some way this masculine if they have access to your email social media call text 
they are going to find a way. Even if you have them blocked, if they have you blocked, they, they are going to make a way. In some way, shape, or form, they are going to talk to you. They are going to maybe explain to you, but they're going to explain in a very awkward way. It's going to seem very emotionally immature. I feel like you see this masculine as this emperor energy, but really this masculine is coming in as a page, a page of wands. You know, they're not quite sure how to take action, but they're going to make it very impulsive. They're going to find a way, you know, um, a page of pentacles. This is going to be someone who has been trying to learn how to move through life and they feel like they have the answers how to move through life but they're moving through life at their own way and that way seems very different to everyone else but it seems to work for them and it's worked for them for a very long time and now they are being moved out of their comfort zone to a place that makes them feel very uncomfortable because it's something that they aren't able to navigate they they don't know how to feel in this situation or they don't know how to process their feelings in a emotionally mature way the most beautiful part is this masculine feels so much love towards you at first, they tried to push these feelings down. They tried to push them away. They may have tried to, you know, ghost you, block you, you know, not respond to you, kind of ignore you. They went through all these emotionally immature reactions to how they feel about you. They may have even tried to block you on social media or block you in some sort of way. Um, but that was just a way of them not processing their feelings and not being able to show how they truly feel. And if you are around your masculine, if you have the way of noticing their reactions or their facial expressions, when you come into a room, you you see this expression of love and kindness, the type of unconditional love that maybe you yourself have never felt before. And if you have had those moments when you were able to see your masculine, when maybe they have been caught looking at you and maybe when you surprise them or have that interaction that totally leaves them speechless you know you see this unconditional love and this feeling of wanting to impress you. You know, I feel like this masculine, because they aren't or weren't, I'm not going to keep saying aren't, it, because they weren't emotionally mature, maybe in the beginning, this masculine was not able to express everything that they were feeling. But if you look or read between the lines, you can actually remember or recall certain moments that really expressed how they felt, how much they felt for you. You know, even if it was in the moment. And I know this masculine, I, I feel like they've made so many mistakes and 
this masculine is still navigating to find the right direction. I'm really sensing that this masculine is really starting to figure things out in a way. I I feel like there's a progression. Although it be a slow progression, there's still a progression. And although I sense that there may be some sort of change, as much as I want to say it's going to be a quick change, I don't feel like it's that quick. I feel like it's more like a slow growing progression. This masculine is going to test the waters. They're going to put you through some sort of test. They're also going to be asking questions. I feel like they're going to be asking questions um wanting to know if you are still available wanting to know what's going on in your life and where they may try to fit themselves in because if this is your masculine i feel like this is the type of masculine who likes to make decisions without your input this is the type of masculine who will make a decision on a situation and then just tell you what they made the they'll just but they'll say it in a loving way. It's so weird. It's very odd that this masculine will make decisions for you and then express that they know this is the right decision because they're looking out for you. It's just very odd. This masculine has been doing a lot of soul searching though. And they have been doing a lot of reminiscing and I feel like this masculine actually remembers every conversation, especially your most recent conversation. And I, I feel like they're kind of going through the conversation that you may have had with them with almost like a fine tooth comb, trying to analyze everything that was said. And I feel like that is their way of kind of understands understanding or sensing their emotions in a way is by being very logical just almost like breaking it down to a science and this masculine is recalling your conversations and they're having a lot of regret for maybe things that they have said or things that you have told to them that really made them feel like they wanted to recoil back into their shell, but they're not able to. They're not able to move back into those, you know, high walls that they had maintained for so many years because you've totally crumbled the walls. The walls can no longer be hidden behind. You know, they can't hide behind that mask any longer because that mask don't exist. So now they're trying to navigate this feeling of being vulnerable and having their emotions well up to a point to, I, I almost feel like it's a point of no return. So they're trying to navigate how they feel and what they're going through because I feel like there's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of drama there's a lot of conflict in their life and i feel like this masculine is also going through a lot of financial difficulties and health di difficulties at the moment um this is a masculine who is really worried about not seeing tomorrow and that is a huge handicap for this masculine because they feel like if they change their life or if they choose the wrong direction, it can be detrimental to everything. So that has this masculine really caught up in their head. And I feel like a conversation with you, a very lighthearted conversation with you, 
is exactly what they need to be put at ease. <clears throat> and I'm not saying that you should just run out and go communicate with your masculine. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that, you know, your masculine finds peace around you. Your masculine feels very soothed and very comfortable around you. But I don't want you to run out and create this conversation with the masculine. You need to have patience and let this masculine kind of approach you with maybe a question or advice or something that's going on in their life. And let the conversation flow naturally. But I feel like they are really wanting a lighthearted conversation. They're missing your playfulness. They're missing the the way that you make them feel safe. So that's what I have for you, feminine. And I hope this message helps. I hope that this message resonates. If this is your masculine, please be patient. Give him grace. Show him that beautiful compassion that you have. And many blessings to you. Love and light.